Okay, on a recent project, we had to replace the water heater. And when we carried the water heater across the floor, the old one is an 82 gallon, I heard some crunching. And this is the uh, a 14 by 22 deck. And what I come across here was a little bit on the rotty side. I took and sprayed a little paint over the the weak spots. And over here, I started unscrewing some deck boards to uh, see what the damage is. And, uh, well, I guess it's video worthy. What I think I want to do is remove this deck that we don't use. I don't like to sit in the sun. I don't know if you guys do, but I just don't like to sit out in the open sun. And um, so this deck was pretty much unused. It used to have an old hot tub on it, which probably is part of this cause here, but the uh, perimeter of the hot tub was like right around in here. And I think the water splash and, you know, having a plastic base on top probably of the deck boards probably started it to uh, help it rot here. So let's take this apart and see what my goal is going to be. I slid this picnic table over to cover up any type of opening so people wouldn't be falling through. And I unscrewed some deck boards to flip over to see what we got for construction. And let me show you what we got under there. Drag this thing out of the way. son thought this would be a good spot for like a little stone patio area with a little fire pit or something and so that might be a good idea but it's pretty much unused space it's kind of a catch-all the step design I don't like it's too high it's like nine inches twice and um, it's another nine plus inches over here so it's really not done to today's code. Let's see what we got under here. I have to get out a drill. And then, now these are pretty rough shape, guys. Let's see what we got under here. That's about it as far as I went over. But let me show you what they did. We got two by eight joists with hangers. We got four by four uprights, bolted with galvanized bolts sitting on, it appears to be a concrete pier. Yeah, it is over here. This one's cracked. I don't know if you can see that one. Um, I don't like building a header this way. You never see me make one like this where you're relying on the bolts to hold it up. It'd be best to sandwich the two together, notch a six by and sit it on top. Then you've got weight sitting on a hard structure. These sometimes crack. The other problem I see here is the top of these joists. Look at that one. Get out of focus here. It's a little on the rotten side. Two, three, three in a row are. And it looks like part of this other deck is supported off them posts too. So let's see what we got down under there. I'll get a, I took a saw and I cut across here, but I probably should have went a little farther because I'm going to want to get them. Um, 2x8 joist off the 2x10 header and I'll probably end up being reworking this whole thing what I don't like is out of the door you got about a 5 inch step you come over and you got about a 9.5 inch step come over and go up about a 3 inch step to the 
garage door and um, what I think I want to do is either do a little inset deck where this deck continues on over which would probably make the most sense and then running some stairs up with a back down in or build a little deck here maybe a five by six or something big enough to turn around on with a step up onto the deck and then raise it up two more inches so it passes code so either or I got to take this off before somebody gets hurt we don't come out here and use this but I don't want a neighbor or the uh I don't know anybody coming up on there that doesn't realize it's under a safety hazard here the squirrel over there being an acrobat kitties are so good on their feet aren't they he wants to scope out what we're doing all right i got those boards removed and uh let's see what we got going on here first of all i don't think a contractor built this looks like a homeowner tried and it's close but what we got is two by eights 16 inches on center they're not exactly 16 they're a little bit crooked it doesn't matter a whole lot um the beam underneath is really crooked compared to the front of the deck here and that doesn't matter that much either um we've got four by four posts that are inside of concrete sonic tube forms so that's no good what happens is it traps moisture and you can see the concrete's broken down around it we do have joist hangers are on with nails we've got galvanized bolts but what they should have done is notch the post or just cut the post off and set it on the post here we got a little blocking I guess that's all right Looks like they cut the fascia flush with the edge of the deck, as you see down here. I like an overhang, but they notched way into that board, so they're really crooked. It makes the front of your fascia look ugly. I noticed that a long time ago. I didn't say nothing. And this set of stairs down here is just sitting on blocks, not hooked to anything. So it's just a floating stairs. So I think what I'll have to do here is come back to probably here and just cut down through the middle and get rid of it so I can walk in there. The uh, post on this side is a little bit better shape. The corner they use galvanized screws. I guess it's all right. The problem is these joists without a joist tape on top check them out they're pretty rotten and so a lot of the screws either stayed in the joist or they just spun out they didn't hold anything this other deck I can't tell if it's fastened to it or not 
but we got to disattach it. I don't know if it is or not, but we're going to get it off in there. We got some gravel, a little bit of gravel under here. We've got a, the beam is a two by 10 and they're spaced about six and a half feet apart. So that's good. The joists are two by eight, so they're strong. That's good. So basically it passed code when they put it in, except I'm surprised the footings passed because throwing some of this junk away here is uh, putting the four by four post inside a sauna tube don't make any sense. Um, should have brought the concrete up and shimmed it or something. It's not attached to the house, which is good for me. I can take it off quickly. Um, see what's going on here. There's a little bit of a sinkhole right there. And you see the concrete's broken. So that's not a good footing. And then over here, it dives right into the ground. I don't know, maybe they didn't have anything to excavate with. Let's see what's going on up here. Oh, you can see they, they had a clearance problem. So they notched and set that beam right on it. And it looks a little rotten around that bottom bolt. So it absorbed the moisture, I'm sure. Uh, let's see here. So I guess what I'm going to do is this is not good enough to build on. The beam probably is good enough. But if they were closer together and we had another footing, say, over here at six or eight foot, I would uh, consider reusing it. But I think I'm going to have to do my own. And... I guess what we'll do is we'll start disassembling. Now, if you have any experience pulling joist hanger nails out of brackets, it's very time consuming, so it's difficult. And um, sometimes they come out nice, usually they don't. So I think what I'll do is I'll get the saws all and I'll just start cutting over there, right at the this side of the beam so that the rest of the deck stays supported the same here and the same here and then i'll end up with about a 10 by 14 platform that i might be able to get up off from here by unbolting those bolts they look like they're three quarter inch i could possibly tap them back out all right now we're gonna try to get all this junk out of the way probably get oh that's pretty heavy i'll probably get the tractor out here and i'll get a chain and see if i can drag this out of the way and i think i got everything cut see this is all two by eight this stuff but it's just sitting there floating i'm gonna kind of put it up out of the way here Ugh. Just sitting on blocks of wood down here so no wonder that moved around get all this mess cleaned up get the tractor out here we've just had a big snow melt off so it's gonna be a little soggy I'll try not to rip up the lawn too bad okay well this side I got the two by tens cut beside the post and the three and I got the the ledger and the band joist cut so now this whole left side is ready to go on the right side I want to get rid of those um, those sauna tubes that are there so I'll probably have to bring the tractor in when I get the bucket and get them out of the ground. And if they don't come out good, I'll have to put the backhoe on and do that. 
But what I think, because I don't have the bucket on the tractor right now, got the snow blade on, I'll have to uh, maybe come in and cut the four bys off, flush with the post, the, the sauna tube, and then this whole whole framing area should be able to be pulled out of here and it looks to be a couple hundred pounds so I'll probably end up having to probably more than that but I'll probably have to bring the tractor over and drag it out of there and see how strong I am but I got to get another sawzall blade I'm using used blades up and they're just not cutting it oh I'm not sure this is gonna work because I just sawzalled and so there's just one little thin line I don't know if it'll break away or not. The ground is real soft. I wish I had a bucket. I wish I had a bucket. I wish I had a bucket. But I don't have any cookies. 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 Let me know if we get that away and we clear over there, all right? They had one with a little block. 
Once I get on, I might just keep going and drag it out back, get it out of the way. Okay, that went pretty smooth, I guess. Um, see, here's where we cut them off with a sawzall. That way this side deck stays supported. It's about a, oh, I don't know, about a 16 foot left. Um, we got here, the same thing. You see the, the footing ain't worth a crap when you put a four by post in it. This one. Just tipped right over and you saw me at idle uh, at idle on a wet lawn pull that right out of there this one here see it's crumbling just don't build like that that's just foolish you're gonna have a post in the ground have a post you have concrete have concrete don't do both like that and here's a good example when I saw is all this this uh, beam down, I got halfway through and it's all rotten. That's sitting right on the concrete and it wicked up all the water. The top three quarters or so is pretty good. And so the rest of this deck should come out of here pretty similar and it's out of the way for now, so I'm not concerned. 
that might make a good starter of a shed floor or something I don't know I just don't want it and it seems like around this door this is cedar but we got a little bit of rot down below the door frame concretes up here it's a concrete floor in there so I'll probably be cutting them off and or replacing them taking off this little fascia skirt board and uh, replace that and it looks like there's one more underneath it I just want that better and this post here is probably not in the way I can just go over top of it you always want the slope on your building you know to go away from it so I'll probably be putting a little gravel under there anyway and let's check our height here and that's eight eight and a quarter and I think it was nine and a half was our step down before so I think if I can go to this door threshold we might work out might work It'd be close to eight inches um, but I think what I'll do is I'll end up building a little deck here that door is three feet wide so if I went at least four foot came out come across the deck I don't know something comfortable four to six foot and do a landing and then a set of stairs I can probably step from that deck onto this deck on and then down the stairs and then we'd have a straight shot to go in you can go into the garage and then go down to the basement in a straight shot so if you had a water heater freezer something like that it'd be easy to do and uh so let me work up the plans on what's our future here and th i might end this video here as part one demo and how not to build a deck and i believe a homeowner did this but it lasted i guess as long as you can expect it to 30 years maybe um, but if you build better, it'll last longer. And so we will see you on the next video, guys.